All right, welcome back. This is Scammer Lamb, and I'm trying to teach people how to build a stealthy virtual machine for happy scam baiting. So, I actually just built this, uh, uh, and I forgot to hit the record button, So, but I'm going to still walk you through it. So, here we go. <clears throat> go home, do open virtual machine. Boom. You should not open. You go to create new virtual machine. You'll do custom workstation 16X or 15. It doesn't really matter. Um, I will install this operating system later. Windows 10 and later, Microsoft Windows, next. Name it whatever you want. You don't have to leave it default, just name it whatever you want, next. This is very important, click BIOS. The BIOS option, do not click UEFI. BIOS is the reason why, I'll tell you later. Um, we'll do four, two and two on the processor configuration. Move your when it comes to memory for virtual machine. We'll go to four gigs. That should be four zero nine six. I'm gonna just go with that. But four zero nine six is all you need. Uh, you can do bridge or network address translation for the network type. Just hit next. All right, we're gonna do SATA. You can do SCSI, SATA. Um, just don't click on the NVMe. Create new virtual disk with select a disk. Um, 60 gigs is all I need and I'll do store virtual disk as a single file all right select this file type um, just hit next all right and then you'll hit finish I already have a virtual machine good to go so I'll go to that one now so what you'll be doing right now is going through the um, well I'll tell you what to do all right Go back to that virtual machine that you just created. Hit edit virtual machine settings. Go to your CD, DVD. And click the radio button that says use ISO image file. You'll search and you'll go to Windows, your Windows file. Hit open and then hit OK. All right, now fire that thing up and set up your Windows. Get it activated, updated, whatever you need to do. And then come back to this video right here. Firing up my virtual machine. You'll have everything set up, updated, everything good to go. Okay, cool. Now we're here. So first, what you should do is go ahead and install your Firefox, your Google Chromes, uh, things of that nature. You can go ahead and download some files, get some browser history, put some phony uh images and doc, uh, probably some text documents or word documents just fill your computer up to, so it makes it look like you have used it um, search YouTube Google anything just make it seem like you've been using this computer okay what's important is the MS info is when you get a scammer in your computer they always go here to check and see if you're a VM uh, virtual machine or not right so mine is already set right and I'll get your score away too so this is what you do to get yours to look like a real computer. What you want to do is go ahead and close down your virtual machine. Um, you'll hit power off. Boop. All right. You'll go to your virtual machine um, directory. So mine is in documents, virtual machines, uh, bull crap right here. Let me open that up with Notepad. You can open it up with Notepad or Notepad++. Just right click and go open with and select, you know, Notepad and uh, Notepad++. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And this, I'll leave this in the subject or comment section somewhere. And you'll cut and paste these three lines in here. SM BIOS reflect host true, SM BIOS no OEM strings true, and SM BIOS add host vendor equals true. And like I said, I have that uh, in the title somewhere. All right, you'll hit save. Boop. 
All right, once you do that, fire back up your virtual machine and it should look like mine. Similar, yours will be reflection of the your host computer. So you might don't have all the cool, you know, hardware that I have. You know, I spent a pretty penny on my damn desktop. <clears throat> all right, log back in. Boom. Now when you go to MS Info 32, it should be clean. If it is not, if you still like, dang, I still got um no, oh, what is going on? Hold on. Oh, Chrome crash. All right, anyway. So if you have any issues, like let's say system manufacturing model <clears throat> hadn't been changed, you'll just go to reg edit. Go to H key local machine. What I normally do is do you can right click find or control find type in the value that was in besides system manufacturer or system model. So if it says VMware Inc or VMware model, whatever, 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 <clears throat> you want to type that in to get there faster. So, for instance, do a VMware Inc. Hit find next. It'll try to find it. Um, if it's not the system manufacturer or system name or whatever, whatever it was, you'll find those and you'll replace the value to whatever you like. Dale, HP, whatever, you know, desktop 300, whatever you want to put in there. All right. Leave a comment if you need any help with that part, though. It's, it's pretty simple. All right. You close that out. <clears throat> You'll be good to go. And I think that's it. I already said download your files, your browsers, anything you need. I just put four files on here. Let me show you. I downloaded a couple programs, downloaded a couple images, documents, folders. Um, I actually transferred some of those from my host machine to make it faster. Cause I mean, I just got tired of just right clicking images and renaming them and you know, stuff like that from the internet. So I just transferred some stuff over. Do not install VMware tools. I should have said that earlier, but do not install VMware tools. All right, you should be good to go. Like I said, if you need anything, just drop a comment. Let me know. I'll be checking. Um, and we out. Now you have a stealthy window scam bait piece of scamming lamb out. Peace.